liberating the Commonwealth is a huge... Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood, Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of... background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. Adjusting internal ballonet pressure. Green lights across the board. If you 
find any technical documents, you should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. Proctor, I came across a holotape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. You mean being zapped into energy and then put back together again? Piece of cake. You can make jokes all you want, but I wouldn't put so much faith in technology I didn't understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully, it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan's scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxson gave you all of the details. Good luck, Knight. I'm busy right now, Knight, and you have a mission to complete for Elder Maxon. I suggest you get back to work. You know those synths with the plastic faces? They creep me the heck out.
What was that? Guess we scared him off. Lou, we're not alone here. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure, I'm game. Let's begin the interview. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Sure, why not? Wonderful.
Please find an open seat, and we will begin the presentation. The genesis of Cambridge Polymer Labs lies in the research of a group of brilliant graduate students. John Elwood, Erica Woolham, and Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them at their graduation. Their research into nucleostrictive and piezoelectric polymers caught the attention of Colonel George Kemp in the fall of 2073. In the spring of 2074, the company was founded with a generous grant provided by the Defense Experimental Research Project Initiative. The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime Project that led to the successful defense of Anchorage. The company enjoys a strong relationship with the military and welcomes your addition to the research team that helps build a better America. Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention, and welcome to the team. Please enter the clean room. Please enter the clean room and proceed to the labs to continue the tour. Please enter the clean room. instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Have you completed the research on the Pisa Nucleic Lining Project? What am I supposed to do? Perhaps you could begin by familiarizing yourself with the current state of the research. The console at your workstation should provide access. Have you completed the research on the Pisa Nucleic Lining Project? I'm working on it. Please see Dr. Elwood Woolham for project assignment.
wandering through places like this is how people end up someone else's dinner. I thought the lifts in Diamond City were fancy. Blue, we're not alone here.
seems like they had enough sense to run.
clever journalists. Guess this is it for you! Hey. Just let me know. Wait there. Okay. I'll be here then. Come on. You're not thirsty.
Bingo. You really walked the Freedom Trail? By yourself? I iced the Coursers before they found Dayton. This time, at least. Excellent work. On our side, we've gone through your report. It was extraordinary. So many pieces of the puzzle clicked into place. Our final analysis indicates the Institute is far more formidable than we ever feared or imagined. If we stage a mass breakout, Patriot's 13 synths will undoubtedly be the last we ever save. Instead, we use this one chance to rescue all the synths. Every last one of them. That's a bold plan. We can't waste this opportunity. The Institute will never let their slaves go without a fight. So the heart of our problem is manpower. 
Even if we call in all our agents, and we will, we won't be able to hold our own against the Institute for long. Talk with C-114. If the synths down there want freedom, they must fight and risk their lives to earn it. Z-1 seems capable of that. We always thought Patriot was the savior of the synths. But it may be more accurate to say that Z-1 is. As much as we owe Patriot, we can't be certain how committed he is. If he learns we're willing to kill to free synths, he may not have the stomach for it. So get what you need from him and then cut him loose. Good luck. We're all with you. Glad you're with us. Make sure you're never followed here. It's all our asses if you are. something you need to. 